Howdy friends and welcome to The Average J. It has been enough time that we are going to go ahead and put the silky chickens outside. So they have been downstairs in the basement in the brooder box. Um, and they're getting a little too big for it. You have three chickens in there. It's a 110 count gallon brooder, which honestly is probably not much smaller than, or yeah, it's not much smaller than the coop I'm putting them in, but the coop has multiple layers, uh, an inside upper layer and an outside lower layer. So they will have more room and silky chickens are small to begin with. And uh, it's time and today is, it's a beautiful day and looking at the weather forecast aside from tonight the weather is going to be you know above at least 45 degrees uh, at night for at least the next seven eight days that I saw in the forecast um, <clears throat> they're definitely old enough they're fully feathered and the weather with the exception of tonight which is going to be like 38 um, is going to be over 40. So they're going to be just fine. Normally they say five weeks, 50 degrees, and uh, these birds are well over five weeks. I want to say they're like uh, eight or nine weeks old. I can't remember. <laughs> um, what I'll do is I'll link the video from when I got them down in the description below. You can go back and watch when I got them, and the date will be on it then. But uh, let me go ahead and show you the little mini coop that we got. This is the <clears throat> coop that we got for the birds, and it came from Chewy.com, and it was actually really, really easy to put together. I'm going to be honest. I, I had no trouble. Um, the instructions weren't super detailed, but it was good enough to put it together. Uh, I think the entire thing took me about... Oh, I want to say 15, 20 minutes. So not, <clears throat> not too bad. But, you know, you have some ventilation up in here. So there is some ventilation. Um, it's in, it's a pretty sturdy for being, it, that's the whole thing, I think it was a $229. Here's your nesting box back here. So you do have a nesting box. And over on the side, you have your door to be able to get into the little run area. And I have their water and their food in there already. A little ramp to go up inside. And you have your big door up here to uh, open it up inside. They have a little bar that they can stand on or sleep on. And it has the slide out um, if you wanted to slide out to clean it. Um, I decided to go with the shavings, the pine shavings, instead of the straw for now. Because I'm trying to keep a little similarity to downstairs so it's not a total shock to them. And they're currently using this downstairs. So um, I'll eventually probably change over to straw. But for right now, this is what we're going to use. I do like that slide out drawer that is pretty nice and it's plastic underneath of it like so it's not gonna rot the wood that's plastic so um I'll close that door up close the latch and oh and inside there is um a door inside that you can um open and close if you want to and that's about it so down underneath, it doesn't look like a bunch of space underneath, but honestly, uh, that's taller than the silky chickens are. And here's Ruby. Hi, Ruby. Ruby is the most social of my buff Worpingtons. She's always looking for attention. When you walk inside, she's the first one to run to you. That's for sure. She's a very, very social chicken. Um, eventually I am going to have to move the Silky's run because right where it's sitting is where I'm going to expand the big chicken run is going to come over here over to somewhere like uh, in that neighborhood <laughs> but 
Ruby's gonna follow me along probably. Uh, and I wanna show you real quick. Uh, there's Snowball. Snowball is mostly white leghorn. And uh, the one that's over near the water, that's Harriet. Harriet is Snowball's sister. And both of them were um, the sisters of Reggie the Rooster, who is no longer with us. But yeah. And that right there is Broody Girl. Broody Girl's the chicken that sat on the eggs and hatched them out. Yeah, she's very vocal. Sounds like a velociraptor. <laughs> but uh, the thing I really want to show you was, so Emmy, Emmy is doing much better. Um, she's still over in quarantine while some of the feathers uh, and wounds heal from where Reggie had gotten to her, even though it's been a couple weeks. But over here, this right here is Onyx. And if you look, I mean, her, her backside looks terrible. And I think she was going through molt. And I think as she was going through molt, some of the other birds kind of started picking at her tail a little bit. So we put her over here with Emmy in uh, quarantine for a little bit. And then uh, we're feeding them a 24% protein feed with soldier uh, fly larvae. Um, high in protein to try to get some of them feathers to come back. We put a new uh, elevated water bowl in. And uh, the cat has to put his front paws up to be able to get to it. But this way Artie doesn't have to reach his neck all the way down when he's eating his food. It was so sh such a shame. He's, he's a tall dog with everything on the floor. It made it difficult. So... That was something that we changed over this winter was putting a new food bowl that was elevated. But I think it's funny when Data has to put his feet up <laughs> to get to it. Right, Artie? Yeah. yeah you too, Data. Meow. Meow. <laughs> All right. We need Michelle to get up out of bed so that she can. Uh... That's right, Artie. Get her up. Oh, let me get out of bed. I need you to uh, assist me with the silkies. All right, so we have the coopus set up, so it is time to get these babies out of here. Hopefully they uh, go calmly into that good night. You know, ooh, that's dusty. <laughs> that's that's why, why they're going out. We're saying it's time. Hello, babies. Hello, babies. Come here. Hello. All right, we're going to put Inky first. There's Inky. Ah, she's going to go in first. And then we're going to go for midnight. Here's midnight. There we go. All right. And last but not least, we're going for <laughs> stormy. Stormy. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's good. Ah, 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 ah. Don't, don't be that way. You hurt yourself. <laughs> we put them in the little carrier. Makes it a lot easier to carry them. I, you know, I used to move them in like Rubbermaid containers. Mm -hmm. I did, I used to put, and I always felt like I'm moving freight or items. They're not items, they're animals, mm -hmm. you know? So um, I'm gonna have to go through this. I'm wondering if like there's not an egg somewhere hidden under all <laughs> of this mess. So, <laughs> whew, it's gotten dusty down here too, mm -hmm. you know? So yeah. it's gonna be nice to get them out, all right. We'll see you outside. <laughs> Funny, normally they're not very vocal, but I just heard one of them in there going, buck, 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 buck. <laughs> All right. I think I'm going to put them down here. I was going to put them in the big door, but I think maybe I'll put them down the small one so they can see their water. Come on, babies. 
<laughs> Watch, they won't come out on their own, probably. <laughs> come on, babies. Oh, I'm gonna have to actually put them in there. <laughs> come on, babies. Come on, Enki. Enki doesn't want to come out. There we go. <laughs> now we need... Oh, midnight. Come on, midnight. I don't have very long arms. <laughs> there we go. They're in their new home. They're probably looking around like, what is this green stuff under our feet? <laughs> <laughs> well, Inky's been outside before. <laughs> That's true. Inky was outside before. So she she know what's up. She knows what's up. <laughs> <laughs> Like I said, they're they're not tall enough that they even have to duck under there. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> Did she just peck? What all? Did she peck at her? I don't know. <laughs> Big grown-up chicken. <laughs> That's right. You can walk around. Oh, there they go. They're pecking. Inky is. Inky's pecking at the ground. Yeah. Like, hey. I've been outside before, I know this. I remember this. <laughs> too. Oh my god, it's so flipping cold. Yeah, it's probably still a little chilly for them, but mm -hmm. they'll be just fine. You can see they're fully feathered. Yeah, do you, you want to try and like put one upstairs? No, they'll find their way upstairs. <laughs> short. You are so <laughs> you're short. <laughs> you made me get out of bed. <laughs> I made Michelle get out of bed on a Sunday morning just to put the birdies out, but... She's a big help. Artie was kind of excited for you to get up as well. So yeah, he, so was Alex. <laughs> so, yeah, Alex wanted to Lots tell you stories. tell you some stories. So, <laughs> but that's going to do it. It's just a short video today. I just wanted to show you that we were finally putting these little girls out. I, I'm very curious to see how long it's going to be until Inky lays another egg. Yeah. She's put out, I think, five eggs so far. Um, seems like one every two or three days. Mm -hmm. So. Um, and I think she it's been three days since the last one, so she's probably holding that in. Turtle head. <laughs> That's weird, but anyway. Um, so, and it, it'll be interesting to see um, when she does lay. Does she lay it in the grass? Does she lay it uh, in, the nesting, in the nesting box? Does she lay it just inside? We'll, we'll see. And I'm going to be interested to see how often do I have to pull that tray out and change that um, okay. pine shavings, you know? I mean, with the big birds in the coop, I do that like once every six weeks, you know, and that straw, but it's its own thing. So I'm wondering if I can get four to six weeks out of these. We'll see. I'm not going to, it depends on how much waste is in there, really, or, you know, how bad does it smell. But thank you very much for uh, coming along and watching the Silkies get into their new home. Hit like and subscribe if you can. Throw down a comment down below what you think of the Silkies. And uh, again, I am going to link the uh, video from when we brought them home. Have a great afternoon. We'll see you. Yes, you can. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>